Hi everyone, welcome to Art at Home with Mrs. Bodden. So today we're going to be drawing from this book, drawing animals shape by shape. Today my son picked out our animal and we are going to be drawing a Scotty dog. So our Scotty dog today is made up of rectangles and squares for starters. So get your materials, grab pen, pencil, marker, whatever you're choosing to draw with today and some paper. Today I'm going to be using a lovely shade of green and we're going to draw our Scotty dog. So to start out with, we need two shapes. We need a long skinny rectangle and a square. So I'm going to start by drawing my rectangle. So here's my rectangle for my body. Next I'm going to draw a square that attaches to it and this is going to be my Scotty dog's head. Next, we're going to just add in those eyes and the nose. So the nose, we need to draw another square off the front of our square so that we have a nose. We're going to give him just a little bit of a square nose right there and go ahead and give him kind of an oval eye and give him an eyebrow just to give him a little bit of personality. Next, we're going to draw the neck of our Scotty dog. So you're going to draw me an angled line that connects your two squares, or your rectangle and your square, and then you're going to give me a kind of curved line that comes down and gives us the front of that dog body. Now, Scotty dogs are hairy. They've got lots and lots of fur, so we're going to go ahead and give him kind of a beard. Now, when you do this beard, don't get carried away drawing me lots and lots of triangles. Just give him about five or six. So one, two, three, four. I even got it down to four. So he's got his face, we've got his face connected to our body, now we need to get some legs on him. Now he's got four legs, but we only start out by seeing two legs. So you're going to draw me kind of a curved in rectangle shape with a pointy foot at the end. Then we're going to do the same thing for this one. Now, remember I said Scotty dogs are hairy, so we got to get those what are called feathers on there. So you can give him some feathers. Give him about two or three feathers on both of his legs. Now, to get his other set of legs, the legs that are on the other side of his body that we don't see all of, you're going to draw a little sliver down, draw those toes, and then run those toes into that first leg. And you're going to do the same for the second one. And now you have a Scotty dog with four legs. Next, we're going to draw our tail. Our tail is going to scoop out and let's go ahead and give him some feathers on the bottom of, or at the tip, bottom of his tail. Now we have a whole bunch of lines that we can erase because we don't need them anymore. We don't need this line in here for his face anymore. So we can get rid of those lines. We can get rid of this line that connects our head so we make it so that our head and our body look like they belong together and we can erase the one on the inside of our big leg. We want to keep these two little ones because we want to make it look like the leg is on the other side of his body. Last thing we can erase right now is that little line that goes to his tail. Now what is our dog missing? He's missing an ear so let's go ahead and draw him kind of a rectangle ear shape up here. Now that looks kind of funny, so we need to get the inside of his ear in there. And then we can erase those lines, because he's got his ear. If you want to round his ear out a little bit, go ahead and round it out. Go round it out just a little bit. Now, to give him a little bit more personality, let's give him a little bit more fur on his face. And then you can give him some hair up here. Get rid of that line right there. And then if you want your Scotty dog to wear a jacket, because Scotty dogs get kind of cold, you can go ahead and draw a little jacket on him. From here, if you want to give it a design, let's say we'll give him polka dots. Go ahead and give him some polka dots. Or you could give him some stripes or you could give him whatever type of design you want. After that, 
go ahead and give him a background. So where's your Scotty dog going to be? I would love to see your artwork. Go ahead and feel free to email it to me or shoot it to me as a message on Class Dojo. Those of you that have already emailed it to me or sent it to me on Class Dojo, thank you so much. I love seeing what you're doing. And that's it for me today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.